Okay, so I've just opened up this old disco light I have called the Skytech Rock Balls. Um, just to see what's wrong with it. I suspect it's a motor, motor fail, so I'm just going to see if I can replace that. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you how it works. It's really quite simple. Um, you have down at the bottom there, if you can just move those wires. Yeah, down at the bottom there you have your phase and neutral coming in at, from the power call, which is just going over that keyboard. Um, then the brown goes through to the switch, so your phase goes to the switch, which then comes out to the transformer, and the neutral also goes straight to the transformer through those little connectors there. There's also an F there that's connected to the chassis. Um, and then you have a direct output that goes to the lights. It might be 240 or it might be 110, not sure. Um, so that goes to power the bulbs in the turning bit. And then you have also probably 12 volt or 6 volt output with those blue and blue and brown leads going to that little PCB there and then all that all that is on that board there is four diodes um, which rectify the AC to DC and then there's a smoothing capacitor at the bottom so that um, instead of when you rectify voltage you get it basically gets the AC and gives you the positive part of the wave and makes keeps it positive and then converts the negative part of the wave to positive as well so you get this sort of bumpy bit and the capacitor is designed to get rid of the in-between bit it makes a smooth uh, smoother line but when you put a load on it it goes jagged tooth again but it's not as bad as just leaving it without the capacitor So then this motor plugs in to that board. I've disconnected that so it's easier to, but it just plugs in there. One handed there. So it just goes in there and you goes to that motor which is rated for, yep, 12 volts. So then you have, because you've got these big yellow leads coming out of the transformer for the lights, it goes through that panel, that's the motor there, and there's the panel, and then it comes through the top, and then um, because this is the shaft that turns the top bit, um, because you would, this uh, voltage you need to get up to the top to power the lights, um, it would just twist the cable, so what they've got is brushes on this commutator type thing um, so those are carbon and all they do is press against that turning bit and then connect up to these two wires here which go to the lights which I've forgotten which way around they go but I think it doesn't matter too much um, so yeah pretty simple um, this bit goes on the top of that, like that, and it's got cogs, which mesh. Oi! What are you doing? All right. Um, it meshes with those cogs in to make these two spinning bits move independently, which is really quite clever. And that's the two wires there. So inside here you can change the bulbs this is like those things you get like HMV but an expensive version of it it's about 100 quid when I got it oi don't touch my halogen so that's all that is it's quite simple but it makes some cool effects some retro you know stuff going on I don't know So, hope that was interesting, thanks for watching, and practice and enjoy.